Alrighty guys, I know you want to know how I went from this to this. Today, I'm going to show you in five easy steps. Hang tight. Okay guys, before we get started, take a few minutes, hit that subscribe button there in the left hand corner. Hit that bell for the notifications of future videos. We have health videos, exercise videos, and tons of fishing action. Make sure you guys subscribe to our channel. Second, I want to get a big shout out to Weston Boucher. He's a friend of mine from San Diego, California, who's been a total inspiration for me. Make sure you check out Weston on Instagram and YouTube. I'll put his links down in the description. So let's get started with step one. Step one has to be self-love. You have to learn to love yourself. As you can see from the pictures here, I got tired of being overweight. I got tired of not looking good. I got tired of not fitting in my clothes or having to buy new clothes all the time. And I got tired of my knees hurting, my feet hurting, not going to functions, not wanting to be around people. I just got tired of it. I didn't love myself anymore. So eight months ago, I decided to do a body transformation. But also I decided to do a mind transformation and a soul transformation as well. I decided to practice a little self-love. So your first step is you gotta love yourself. All right, step two is your dieting. I have been practicing over the last six to eight months intermittent fasting. I'll put a link down here and also in the description where you can go and do a little research about what exactly is intermittent fasting. But basically, I do intermittent fasting, which means I do 18 and six. Some people do 20 and four. Some people do one meal a day. But I practice 18 and six. So basically what that means is 18 hours I do not eat and then in the six hour window I consume two meals. It's usually leftovers from the first meal but sometimes it's two different meals. But I practice 18 and 6 intermittent fasting except on Mondays. Mondays I do total fasting which I do not eat at all on Mondays other than coffee. So what that basically means is Sunday afternoon at 6 o'clock when I'm done eating I will not eat again again until Tuesday afternoon in that six hour window. So I go 48 hours of complete fasting of no food. And I'll put a link down here about the 48 hour fasting, the great benefits that it has for your body and your mind. Make sure you check these videos out. But any successful weight loss program starts with intermittent fasting. Also, my diet, you're gonna hear this little thing pop up in this video, no sugar. In case you didn't hear me, no sugar. You gotta eliminate sugar from your diet. Sugar spikes your insulin, stress spikes your insulin, which wants you to save body fat. So you gotta cut the sugar out, you gotta cut the stress out, and watch what you eat. I do not eat, and I'll put a list of these in the descriptions, no tater chips, no bread, no processed cereals, no pasta, no Little Debbie's, no desserts, no ice cream, all that stuff that you really like, and trust me, I miss it, you gotta cut it out of your diet. And I'll put a list of these items that you cannot eat to include no sugar. Make sure you guys cut the sugar out of your diet. But dieting is the second most important step in losing weight. I bake my food, I do a lot of baked food, uh, as you can see here, Baked burgers, baked chicken, baked vegetables. I eat a lot of scrambled eggs, bacon, stuff with low carb and no sugar. Get on a good dieting program, something you can stick to, and you'll see the pounds fall off. It's basically about a caloric reduction. You got to burn more calories than you take in, and if you do, you'll lose body weight. Um, one thing you need to do is is make sure you take measurements. I measure four areas. I measure my butt, my waist, my stomach, and my chest. And over this last eight months, I've lost a total of 24 and a half inches off 
all four of these areas combined with my stomach being the biggest I lost 11 inches around my stomach and that's still my trouble area I'm still working on my stomach area now but make sure you measure yourself weigh yourself and take your blood pressure the last day of the month that way when the new month kicks in you can have your new motivation to get started for the next month but track your progress second step dieting alrighty guys the third step and one of the most important steps as well is exercise I'm here at one of my local parks I come to the park every day rain or shine to either walk run shoot basketball and then I also do some other exercises I'll use the park benches for do incline push-ups I'll use the park benches to do uh, dips and then I just kind of mix it up but find you a local track we have several here close to where I live visit your track start out at your own pace I started out doing one or two laps and now I do three to four miles every day some days I'll do five miles I try to run uh, at least a couple, two, maybe three times a week. But exercise has to be an integral part of your transformation. Whether you exercise with weights, you can do those at home, join a gym, or do like I do. Most of mine's done here at the track. But make sure you, uh, you integrate an exercise program into your transformation. Alrighty guys, step four is going to be supplements. I start my mornings by dragging my butt out of bed, going to the kitchen, and I mix a concoction of apple cider vinegar, ground turmeric, and eight ounces of water. This concoction is great for your stomach health. And inflammation. Apple cider vinegar has many many benefits. I will put a link here and also in the description if you want to do a little research on apple cider vinegar and ground turmeric. But it has really good benefits for your gut health and your inflammation. For the last 15 years I have been taking acid reflux medication, omeprazole, and I no longer take that medication. Apple cider vinegar and my change of life has taken me off all medications, including my blood pressure medication. Also, you want to have a good vitamin program. Make sure you're taking your supplements. I take a multivitamin every other day. I take calcium, zinc, phosphorus, vitamin A. And vitamin D and potassium. These are the vitamins that I take every day. And I also take biotin. These are all good for your health, skin, and hair. But a vitamin program along with apple cider vinegar and ground turmeric needs to be step four of any body transformation. Final step, step five, is going to be sleep. Sleep has to be one of the most important things that you do every day. It's going to be one of the most important things you do in your life. Some days I'll sleep seven and a half, some days I'll sleep nine and a half, but I average between eight and ten hours of sleep. Sleep allows your body to recuperate and allows your mind to recuperate. But it also allows your body to burn calories while you're sleeping if you're in the fat, burn, fat, fat burning mode. But make sure you have a good sleep program. If you're not sleeping, you're not going to be healthy. I'll put a little link here and down in the description where you can do a little bit more research about sleeping. But step five is going to be sleeping. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video this morning. Make sure you subscribe, you like the video, you comment. If you need to email me about any questions, here's my email address. Or if you'd like to call me, here's my phone number. Guys, stay healthy. Remember the five steps. Self-love, dieting, exercise, 
supplements, and sleep. You do those five things, you can go from this to this. God bless.